Hello Gunners! Welcome to the Arsenal News Channel. See all the latest Arsenal headlines, including updates on Kylian Mbappé, Victor Ozerman and more. So, go ahead and hit the like button on the video, and here we go. Liverpool and Arsenal are reportedly prepared to enter the race to sign Paris Saint-Germain forward Kylian Mbappé. Arsenal's potential move for Kylian Mbappé could be a costly one over the coming months as they look to balance both transfers and financial ruling at the same time. The Gunners will be keen to keep a healthy margin between themselves and the profit and sustainability guidelines, following a recent crackdown from the Premier League. The division have made a recent point with their alleged charges pushed against Everton, who were taken to an independent commission in October. The panel found that the Toffees had lost roughly £20 million over the adjusted £105 million for any three-year period, seen as a breach. As a result, the punishment of a 10-point deduction was placed against the Merseyside outfit, pushing them to 19th in the Premier League and amongst the relegation scrap. The club outlined their shock, and the decision is still subject to an appeal, but it shows the extent to which these rules can be enforced. There's the situation surrounding Manchester City that continues to rumble in the background, following on from 115 alleged breaches brought forward by the Premier League earlier this year. There's likely to be a long, drawn-out legal process before any information will be brought to light in that case, but it hasn't stopped speculation regarding a potential punishment if they were to be found guilty. The situation will naturally have teams on edge and doing their best to work within the guidelines already established by the Premier League. It also leaves Arsenal in a position where they need to finally balance which transfers are possible and within their budget over the next year. The Gunners spent roughly £200 million in the summer transfer window, which included a loan move for David Raya with an option to buy. That option can be used to work around those profit and sustainability rules, as the value of the switch won't factor into things until the deal is made permanent. Whether that has been used to give Arsenal some wiggle room for further deals in the January window and beyond, or if it's because they're on the edge of those thresholds, they must proceed with caution to avoid possible punishment. With it comes a clear question of Mbappé. Recent reports have claimed that the Gunners are preparing an approach for the French forward, who is nearing the end of his contract at PSG. According to a report from AS, via Sport Witness earlier this month, Bappe is asking for a yearly wage of €35 million, Euros, £30.5 million, pounds, after tax and a signing bonus of roughly €100 million, Euros, £87 million. Pounds. It's a huge deal that will likely take a lot of the budget up and could require exits elsewhere, leaving a debate left for whether that risk is taken or best left alone. Victor Osman transfer news as, the striker heavily linked with a move to the Premier League continues to be of interest to Chelsea and Arsenal heading into January. Before we proceed, Gunners, I want to remind you that the thrill of Arsenal is just a click away. Subscribe now to receive the hottest news from your favourite club. From new transfers to intriguing rumours, daily updates, and the controversies that drive football, our channel is your best source. Be the first to know. Join the Arsenal community. Victor Osman is facing an uncertain future at Napoli ahead of the January transfer window. The Nigerian forward featured 32 times for Napoli in the Serie A last season, scoring 26 goals to get his hands on Golden Boot and the Scudetto. With Osman's contract expiring in 2025, a move could be on the cards in the coming transfer windows. That said, check out the latest news about a possible change now. Transfer expert David Ornstein believes that Arsenal are interested in Osman, but may be put off by his price tag in the transfer window. Speaking on a podcast for The Athletic, he said, In terms of price and profile, I don't see Arsenal going for Osman. I suspect he is on their list, like he will be for all the top sides. The pool of quality strikers is so small at present that any big club looking to sign one are likely to be studying the same names. Osman, Martinez, Ferguson, Sesco, Boniface etc. After Napoli's 3-2 defeat to Real Madrid in the Champions League group stage, Aurelio de Laurentiis claimed that Victor Osman's future is a not up for discussion. Speaking to Spanish publication El Chiringuito, as quoted by Goal, the Italian giant's president said, Victor is a player who makes a team on his own, it's not up for discussion. There is no problem with the renewal, everyone in Napoli is happy. Victor Osman has potentially hinted at an exit from Napoli, after deciding to delete all of his photos including his time at the club on Instagram. 
It comes amid an ongoing saga that includes potential legal action against the club, while his contract is also dwindling there. Following Napoli's game against Udinese, Rudy Garcia played down speculation that Osman faces an uncertain future in Naples despite the off-field controversy. As quoted by Football Italia, the Napoli boss said, I have had a very good rapport with Victor since the moment I arrived. I am happy because he scored a goal and centre-forwards always want to score goals. In Bologna, we were all frustrated at not winning and he was even more after missing a penalty, so that can happen. We cleared the air, it all went back to normal. Victor Osman's agent has posted a statement claiming that legal action could be taken against Napoli for posting a video on their social media accounts joking about the player. His agent, Roberto Calendar, said, What happened today on Napoli's official profile on the TikTok platform is not acceptable. A video mocking Victor was first made public and then, but now belatedly, deleted. A serious fact that causes very serious damage to the player and adds to the treatment that the boy is suffering in the last period between media trials and fake news. We reserve the right to take legal action and any useful initiative to protect Victor. Napoli released a statement insisting that they that did not intend to cause offence to Victor Osman after a controversial video of the striker was posted by the club on TikTok. The statement read, Napoli, in order to avoid any exploitation on the topic, specifies that it never intended to offend or make fun of Victor Osman, the club's technical asset. To demonstrate this, during the summer training camp, the club firmly rejected every offer received for the strikers' transfer abroad. It is a common experience that on social media, in particular on TikTok, expressive language has always been created with lightness and creativity without having had, in the case involving Osman, any intention of mockery or derision. However, if Victor had perceived any offence towards him, that is not what the club intended. Leandro Trossard reveals secret weapon giving Arsenal Premier League title edge over Man City. Leandro Trossard has opened up on a huge Arsenal tactic which could hand them an edge in the Premier League title race. The Belgium international has enjoyed a consecutive run of starts amid the Gunners' injury issues, adding to the important goals he has already scored when coming off the bench. Earlier in the 2023-24 season, Trossard netted match-altering goals against Everton and Chelsea which helped Mikel Arteta's side pick up four points. From his two starts in a false nine role, Trossard scored against Sevilla in the Champions League and Burnley in Premier League action. Rather amazingly all of his goals have been assisted by Bukayo Soccer with Trossard discussing his partnership with the Arsenal winger, ahead of the Champions League against RC Lens. It's a coincidence at the moment. B. Bukayo Soccer has so much quality and it doesn't really matter who is on the ball, I always try to get into great positions, he admitted. B. has already showed that last pass that he can make that one and you need to be ready for it to come. Every goal I got on the end of it and hopefully there are many more to come. Arsenal's refreshed game plan from last season, with a closer focus on controlling games and being defensively sound could potentially hand them a title advantage and Trossard has revealed that set pieces, masterminded by Nicolas Jova, are another arrow in their tactical bow that they can use. It's a pleasure to work with him, he said of the set piece coach. He's really clever on set pieces. It's such a great aspect in the game where you can open up a game. It helped us already a lot. We need to keep improving but we train on it as much as possible. When you play every three days there's not much time to work on it, but we will always squeeze it in but it's in the general game plan. The Gunners have already scored two crucial goals from corners this season with William Saliba and Declan Rice on target against Burnley and Manchester United, respectively. Arsenal also perfectly used a short corner to open a stubborn Everton defence, as a flowing move ended with Trossard scoring the only goal of the game. While there is no guarantee, their set-piece work will impact the title race. Corners and free kicks have frequently become void but to Arsenal they are invaluable and Arteta and Jova are intent on ensuring the Gunners maximise their output from those chances. So, folks, those were today's news. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any news. Thank you for your viewership and we'll see you in the next video.